All right, welcome. We're going to open cards. Yeah, it's my the phone's just plugged in and it turns off and on like when it turns on, it's annoying as shit. All right, hold on. Oh god. I like the erection song. The Faint used to be one of my favorite bands, but like their albums just started going more and more downhill over time. Their first uh, like three albums are pretty good. Like this album's good, Dance Macabre. 2001's a long time ago though. This was when I was like in my emo phase. I used to listen to a lot of stuff like this. Um, what? Let's see if this works. Hey, there we go. When does e emo phase two start? Good question. All right, let's get our card gloves on. Mm. All right, we're properly protected now. I got six packs here. I got a, I got a good feeling about these ones. Is my camera, my camera's kind of choppy. I wonder if that's a, a battery issue. Ugh. If my camera dies in the middle of this, I don't really know what to do. I guess I could technically use my other phone, but I don't really want to. All right, let's crank these bad boys out. Man, now I really want to listen to this whole album again. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a little choppy for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Morta, we got him. 34th rule of acquisition, we got that. Tulaberry wine, we got that. Collect sample, we got that. Ferengi energy weapon, we got that. Nava, I think is new. Took over the Arcebite gouge mining refineries in the Clarius system. Plans to introduce... No, we have him. Decora class Marauder, we have that. Letek. Uh, yeah, we have him. And another Quark's Isolinear Rods. Next pack. Tossed. Yeah, that was like a duplicate pack, like wholesale. I accidentally ripped this pack open. Uh-oh, first one. That's a bad sign. I'm getting sloppy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Runabout search. This is new, I think. Uh, no, it's not. Survivors of a ship uh, sabotaged by the Orion Syndicate. Center of attention, we got that. Another Morta. First rule of acquisition, we have that. Uh, we have this guy, Nausicaan guy, scientific method. Uh, Joe Brill faked his own death, we have that one. Ferengi energy weapon, have that one. Crunk, we have Crunk, but I like Crunk, especially those teeth. Omog is our rare. Ferengi arms dealer. Glutton always requests that Amari play Maelor Famagal, referred to as the Fat Ferengi by the Quailar 2 locals. Well, at least it's a new card, even if it's a shit card. Here, my gnome friend. Ah! You can stand on this. All right. Those, I'm going to probably end up opening another Ferengi pack because those were dis disappointing as hell. Feeling good about this mirror, bent-ass mirror pack in my hand right now, though. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Marauder, we have him. IKC Katang, uh, I'm pretty sure we have this. Bird of Prey that fought in the Dominion War, immune to bring energy dampening weapon due to a fortuitous tri uh, tritium intermix adjustment. Maybe we don't have that. And there goes the camera. Uh-oh. Uh. Well, shit. I mean, it's it's still on. Yeah, I might have to do cards after. I didn't realize I had left this unplugged and I didn't think it was going to die so fast. It's an old phone, though. I can tell you what the rare is, though, if you want. It's powering back on. I don't know if it just crashed or if it's like the... Because the screen was still on, even though it died. Wow, the scammer in the uh, title is actually appropriate. You're getting scammed. Hmm. Noises. Off screen mourn. Yeah, this isn't a mourn deck, though. Well, yeah, well. I, I loved, uh, God, what's the dude's name from The Faint? I used to know it. I used to love his singing, but it's it's it sounds so dated now when I listen to this. It sounds so early 2000. This is a good album, though, for what it was. I think the camera is just going to kill the battery when it's this low. I don't know. All right, let's go fast, maybe. Maybe we want to focus. Focus not working. Okay, whatever, close enough. Doors, uh... Female Cardassian in the Mirror Universe, science officer aboard Tarok Noor, occasionally keeps high-profile visitors under surveillance for the Intendant. Another Katang. Another Dorza. Tagus. I don't think we have this guy. Assigned to bodyguard duties in the capital city on Romulus. Mine Dilithium. Cool planet. Halcon planet. Replenished Dilithium supply from World Conquered decades ago. Aramax, we have this guy. Alliance Vorcha. Fast and powerful battle cruiser, backbone of the Alliance fleet. Their only weakness is in their targeting systems. They've been known to chase warp shadows. Transporter mix up. No description on this one. Let's see what our rare is. Mr. Quark! Quark! It's evil Quark, though, which it technically makes him good Quark, I think. A uh, bartender who pretends to work for the Alliance, Quark secretly helps Terran slaves escape from Terok Nor. So yeah, evil Quark is good Quark. Yeah, I'm, that's cool. I'm cool with that. We got like a whole Ferengi deck now, pretty much. We have like the best Ferengi ships and like some of the best Ferengi personnel. Isn't this the Quark that fucking died? Yes, it is. Quark makes me feel like I'm not going to have to open extra packs tonight. Come on, get out of there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we got Clint Howard here. That's a duplicate. Crossover, duplicate. Mirror Dagger, duplicate. Bartok, duplicate. 
Ferengi shuttle duplicate, Loreva. Um, yeah, that's a duplicate. Doors uh, again, three doors is one night. Two Clint Howards, another crossover, another mirror dagger. And then Fisarius is our rare, only one new card. Immense spherical vessel, flagship of the First Federation, commanded by Baylock. This is the baby ship. That's a cool one to get. I mean, it's not as that cool, but it's cool. Yeah, it's Clint Howard's ship. We'll see that soon when we do TOS. I like this song a lot. All right, Voyager. Let's see, maybe we can get a Neelix. An NFT, a non-fuckable Talaxian. One, two, three, four for Voyager. Cavit, we got him. Kazon Bomb, we got it. Villagers with Torches, got it. Real, got it. Narek, got him. Thompson, got him. I don't know if we have the yellow border or if it's the blue border one. Study Interment Site, we got that one. Auto destruct sequence. When in a hopeless situation facing insurmountable odds, most starship captains would sooner destroy their own vessel than let it fall into enemy hands. I don't know if we have that one. Organ theft. Oh, look at this dude wearing the fucking weird someone else's face. What an uncomfortable picture. This is like some face off shit. Uh, we got another. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Rage Against the Machine, another Tom Morello. Let's see what our rare is. Maxwell Burke from the Equinox. Eh. First officer of the USS Equinox. Almost dropped out of Starfleet, was once romantically involved with Bolana Torres. Still the Patak she claimed him to be. Eh.
Hell yeah. We got ourselves a Vulcan. Arguably one of the better Vulcan characters. You know, him being in Generations is canon, too. That is supposed to be Tuvok, even though that happened after the fact. We'll watch Generations at some point. There you go. There's Tuvok. Um, I did grab this Borg pack, so we might as well open the Borg pack. I don't think we're going to get anything better than Tuvok. But we'll see. Tuvok was the first, like, main Vulcan character that was actually full Vulcan, too. That was actually interesting. I'm not talking about, like, someone like Sarek or something. Herogen Talon. Got one of those. Vurond. Uh, probably have this guy. Pursued further training as Beta Herogen for Karen. Who's Karen? Relics of the Chase. I don't think we have that, but that's cool. Some Predator ass shit. Secure Station. Herogen Relay Station. We have one of these, I'm pretty sure. Guard against violations of Herogen property. Tanar. Kazon Nistrum. Served aboard Kulla's ship. Uh, his opinions have come to carry a bit more weight with his Maj than most. Established settlement in Grid 662. Help Klingon pioneers begin a new empire on this world. Very much like Kronos. All right. This disgusting motherfucker. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got this guy. I mean, I mean, I don't know. They all look like fucked up. Awaken. Borg typically do not take preemptive measures against potential hazards. Once a threat is established, however, resources are allocated both swiftly and efficiently. 17 of 18. I think we probably have this guy. I don't know. All Borg look the same to me, too. Alas, poor drone. It's uncommon. The Borg Queen searched tenaciously for the interlink frequency connecting the errant drones of Unimatrix Zero. Analyzing those she had discovered brought her closer to finding them all. Um, let's see what our rare is. What the fuck is this? Some kind of jello jellyfish? <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Female colenturate life form regard regarded by Kuros as po perhaps the oh it's one of the think tank things as perhaps the most gifted member of the think tank uh expert on temporal physics and tectonic instabilities we got a fucking jellyfish here all right well that one was shit so we'll open one more voyager pack. what time is it <laughs> yeah we got time for one more yeah, Costanza is in... I think he's in the Borg ex expansion, not Voyager. Alright. One, two, three, four. Yeah, come on, Neelix. Uh, Alright, another No Brian. Study internment site, got that. Catalog uh, Phenomena, Necrit Expanse, we got that. Ayala, we got him. Vidian Scout Vessel, we got one of those. Vidian Outpost is new. Vidian Sol Sodality establishes Outpost throughout its territory, often hiding them inside barren planetoids. Type 9 shuttlecraft. I'm pretty sure we have one of these, too. Uh, and it makes a joke about how many Voyager has. Kazon Conference. Attend meeting of rival Kazon sects. Inversion Mystery. Inversion Nebula. Determine how plasma strands, typically unstable, have survived here for centuries. Tuvok's into it. Distortion of space-time continuum. Even minor temporal incursions can cause shockwaves with far-reaching effect effects. Anorax's sweeping interference changed both ancient and recent history throughout the Delta Quadrant. And our rare is Tanis, the weird Okampa dude that um, he also is in, he's in Enterprise as uh, the Vulcan dude, right? Um, he's the one who taught Kess how to melt Tuvok's face. 
Unusually old Okampa male with strong psychokinetic powers, follower of Suspiria, delivered Voyager to her so she could avenge the death of her mate, the caretaker. Yeah, he was in TNG also. All right, that's it for tonight. We got a fucking jellyfish. We got Tannis half, half Elven from Dragonlance. We got Mr. Quark. That's pretty good. We got the two jabronis from the Equinox. No Equinox, though. I'd love to get the Equinox. Uh, and we got uh, Tuvok. Hell yeah, Tuvok. Make some noise for Tuna. Tunok. Tunok, Tunok, Tune. And then we got the Balls ship. Anyway, thanks for uh, checking out cards. Now we're going to uh, watch some Enterprise. Peace.